I pledge that I will serve you with integrity and humility and I will work day in, day out to deliver for the British people. The UK has a new prime minister. Rishi Sunak, a former investment banker, takes over at a time of big financial and economic challenges. What's unusual is that less than two months ago, Sunak actually lost an election within his party to get the job, but his rival, Liz Truss, resigned. I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. And only a few years after starting in politics, Sunak became the first person of color to lead the United Kingdom. Here's a look at how he rose through the ranks of the Conservative Party. Rishi Sunak. Today, I have the enormous privilege of standing here as a member of parliament. Sunak made his debut in parliament in 2015, putting a sense of humor on display as a lawmaker representing a county in Northern England. And although I am not from Yorkshire, they were immensely relieved to learn that I was not from Lancashire either. <laughs> the son of a pharmacist and a doctor of Indian descent, he was an early supporter of Brexit and went on to hold junior ministerial roles. But his career really took off when he got the second most important job in Boris Johnson's government. Sunak, who holds an MBA from Stanford and has worked for Goldman Sachs, among other places, became the UK's Treasury Chief. How do you feel about taking over in these circumstances? Delighted to, Delighted to be appointed, lots to get on with. And he immediately came into the spotlight, overseeing the government's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. I can announce today an unprecedented package of government-backed and guaranteed loans to support business to get through this. He announced a large spending program. When I say large, 330 billion pounds to help businesses pay wages to millions of people who couldn't work during the pandemic. In early 2022, as his boss faced a series of scandals, Rishi Sunak resigned as Treasury Chief. And soon after Johnson himself stepped down, Sunak made an announcement. I'm standing to be the next leader of the Conservative Party and your Prime Minister. Sunak raced against Truss, whose plans he called fairy tale economics. In televised debates, he stressed that the priority should be to keep inflation and interest rates under control. Your plans would mean that interest rates would have to go up to around 7%. So just think what that means for all of your mortgages. He lost that race, but won the argument after Truss's plans caused havoc on financial markets. Now Truss is out and he's won the UK premiership in one of the more spectacular, I told you so, moments in modern politics. So what challenges does he inherit from his predecessors? The economy will be one big thing on his agenda. There's a looming recession in the UK and high inflation, which creates a double whammy for ordinary people. Sunak, who has advocated for spending cuts, has also been widely criticized by the British press and public. As a former hedge fund manager who is married to the daughter of one of India's richest men, he has sometimes been seen as out of touch with the people's economic reality. 